What's going on everybody? Today, very interesting uh, video. So I know most of this stuff is motorcycle related here on this channel, and I have found a way to make this video motorcycle related. So the way today started was Dan, do it with Dan, YouTuber, you know who he is, link in the description, is gonna blow a car up. So I was like, that'd be interesting to film. I've got, I've got cameras that can film stuff. I should film that. But then I thought, you know, I need to make it motorcycle related because this is a motorcycle related channel. This ain't a chase related channel, motorcycle related. Also, he's gonna blow it up by shooting it. It gave me an idea. If you guys haven't noticed, I have a little too many helmets in this garage. Now, a lot of them are very useful, awesome, and I will continue to use them, but there are a couple in here that I'm never going to wear. I'm not going to sell to you guys because I've, I've used them and I don't really believe in like buying used helmets. So here's what we're going to do with them. I'm curious what happens to a motorcycle helmet when shot with a high powered uh, gun? I don't know, a, a rifle? I don't know if it has a better term. I'm not a gun guy, not just, not my thing, more of a pacifist type person, but Luckily, Do It With Dan is a huge gun guy, so we're going to drive to somewhere and I'm going to record a car blowing up and motorcycle helmets getting shot with a rifle to see what happens to them. Today should be an interesting video. I've got all my camera stuff. We're going to have two drones in the air. It should be interesting. It's also early as hell and I got to bed really late, so... Uh, We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna go make some coffee and drive to some, somewhere out of nowhere. Let's roll an intro and see what the hell happens today. Hopefully this video gets finished and edited and I don't get blown up. That's the goal. All right, we're going into the no trespassing area. We're trespassing. We're not trespassing. So we're at the location where everything's going to be happening. Uh, I, I guess Dan is doing something with a gate. We are in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Uh, and that's what's ahead of us. I hope it, I hope this video makes it to YouTube because if not, I died and well, it's just awkward. So we're here uh, coming out to the BMW that is going to be blown up today. Oh, good God. Yeah. Dan, can you take me to where we're going to be so I can yeah. figure out where I can put my cameras? You can put a camera over here and be fine. I, I just don't want a piece of shrapnel to hit no, the it, lens. No, it, it won't. It won't. Then I move that car out. Warning, we here at Do It With Dan take safety as our number one concern. We must request that you do not attempt to recreate or reenact any of the stunts you've seen performed here. We have both licensed and professional explosive experts on hand. Again, safety is our number one priority. Do not attempt to recreate or reattempt any of the stunts you've seen here today. Thank you. Oh yeah, and for Chase's video too. Quick safety brief. Also, we have an explosives expert on hand off scene. He does not want to be on camera, so we're not going to show him. Uh, but we have everything legal that we need to take care of. So we do have an explosives expert on hand. Okay, so uh, first test helmet is the G-Max. What we're curious of is, will a $60 motorcycle helmet withstand four pounds of tannerite, which supposedly is stuff that blows up? But if you think about it, a motorcycle wreck does an impact, and so is uh, what happens when you shoot tannerite. So we're testing the impact resistance 
of the G-Max. Got uh, four pounds of uh, in the uh, USA Chemical Supply Tannerite. Okay. Or uh, binary explosives, really. Of course, of course. What are this your should, predictions? Uh, this it, should really put it through its test. Now keep in mind, it's a $70 G-Max helmet. Right. I think, uh, I think this will put it through its paces. Okay. Four pounds of that stuff. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to check on the G-Max. Um, um, so the face shield, uh, is it too hot? Is it? No, it just warped it. Look at that. This, how much does that say for a $70 motorcycle helmet, face shield? <laughs> okay, um, I would say that was an accurate test of the impact uh, protection of a G-Max. So we'll be destroying the other helmets in variable different ways. One will be a flamethrower. All right guys, test two uh, for helmets. We're gonna get the, what's this called? LS2 Aero, and there's a dummy inside of the car that's gonna have 10 pounds of Tannerite in it. We're gonna install the helmet on the dummy to see if a motorcycle helmet can no, it's not gonna work the same. assist in somebody not dying, just in case you find yourself in a car full of Tannerite. You never know. That's the dummy. Okay. I'm gonna open up the visor for ventilation. The dummy now has the LS2 aero, and then the car's gonna get filled with 10 pounds of Tannerite. All right, so here's what a helmet looks like before it gets uh, burned with a flamethrower. Got a beautiful Icon Salient? Salient, yeah, Icon Salient. This is how much resistance to flame a motorcycle helmet has. Holy shit, that's hot. The okay. XM42 flamethrower. Gotcha. It shoots fire. You That's hot. To. Okay, cool. Hey, Got careful. It. In case you're watching the video and you're curious, we have a sloth with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> hey, sloth, can we, uh, right here, right here. Okay, but we'll use it. don't use the whole thing yet. Awesome. Thank you. I've got slow motion up close up on the helmet. Sloth! <laughs> the inside's relatively unscathed. All right, I gotta be relatively honest. Relatively unscathed. The, relatively the inside of that helmet doesn't look terrible. Yeah, let's get a, let's go. Look at that, the bottom. We're gonna go Icon. Icon, <laughs> you, there you go. I gotta say, you know, Icon, you got a really good uh, salient helmet over here. Sloth, we appreciate your uh, hard work, man. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. Okay, next up, Tannerite bullets. I right, guess so we're on round two. Uh, the 10 pounds 
I think Dan used the word anticlimactic. Uh, as you can see in the footage, the car is still there. I'm gonna put the Phantom 4 in the air one more time while we do this 40 pounder. Hopefully this goes bigger. I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep this camera here. It seems safe, and then the other one's right behind Dan's truck. So should be an interesting time. Hopefully this one is a little bigger. What are you right here? All right, little camera, you're here. That's the best spot I can get you. Holy God, that was, I don't know if you guys can see. There was a hood or something. Came straight this way. Um, I can definitely tell you that I will never be doing anything like this again because nothing happened, but I realized watching that what can happen, so this was stupid. Don't, don't do this. Yeah, guys, look at this. This thing landed, that landed here, I was standing there. <laughs> hey, is there any sign of that helmet that was in there? Where's the helmet? Yeah, Finn, you see the helmet? I don't think the helmet made it. Well, the, it oh, he did his head. No, no, this is good. See, he lived because of the helmet. Um, okay, so a helmet will keep you alive in a car with 40 pounds of tannerite. <laughs> He's completely cooked. But Dan, will you notice his head is totally fine? <laughs> yeah, we'll go with fine. Have you felt how hot his head is? LS2 Aero. If you guys are curious and need a helmet, put a link in the description. All right, so for the final helmet, we have the showy, um, I don't know what showy that is. It's a showy helmet, so it's mo the most expensive helmet in the group, and we're going to shoot it with a Desert Eagle. Can we see the uh, weapon of choice? Okay, massive. Like, that's that's my hand, that's the gun. Absolutely massive. So let me get this camera going. All right, guys, helmet test, Desert Eagle. Whenever you're ready, sir. Ready? Good hunt. Holy kick. That made me feel like my nose is I'm pretty sure I just had an aneurysm. That was the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. Did I hit it? Oh, it went in there and then out the back. We need one straight through the middle of the, yeah, let me. Fracture. The rounds are so hot, the muzzle velocity is so fast that instead of fracturing this, it's just going to burn right through. Worst case scenario, the bullets are actually too powerful, so the helmet can't help you at all. If you're in a fight with a Desert Eagle and somebody shoots you in the face, 
you're screwed. All right, guys, uh, so that's the end of the video. Uh, so it turns out that a motorcycle helmet will not help you against a Desert Eagle. It won't help you against Tannerite, either in a car or inside of your head. And they actually surprisingly do well with flamethrowers after about five seconds of direct contact. So overall, I'm really impressed. The Icon Salient did the best. Uh, so Icon, you guys win for the most destruction proof helmet. Congratulations. And guys, uh, since I survived, I'm gonna call that a day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I won't be making any more of them uh, in this style. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you like this type of content, there's no point in subscribing to this channel because that's not happening anymore. Glad you guys enjoyed this video if you watched to this point, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.